Hi, this is a video tutorial to show how you can use the materials of a touch of Venus kit. These materials are part of the resources developed for the project A Touch of the Universe and can be used by anyone regardless of their site capacity. You can download all the elements of the kit from the website of A Touch of the Universe. The kit has been the result of the collaboration, support and funding of the International Astronomical Union's Office of Astronomy for Development. It contains the following items. A presentation letter, a Venus tactile globe, an activity book in braille and normal printing with some suggestions on how to use the Venus globe, an annotated map with snapshots of the digital model with the names of some features. A measuring lace, 28 centimeters long with knots every 7 centimeters, that helps measure distances on the globe by touch and also visually, and can be used to locate interesting places on the surface of the model. Finally, a bag to carry the globe and activity book around. The Venus tactile globe, the activity book, and the document with the snapshots can be downloaded from the website of A Touch of the Universe. Let's start with the Venus model. You will easily notice the two polar caps as flute smooth circles on opposite sides of the globe. The North Pole is marked by a completely smooth circle. The South Pole has the logo of the Astronomical Observatory of the University of Valencia engraved on it. Connecting both poles you will notice a meridian, which corresponds to the geographical zero degrees longitude on Venus. These elements will help you as references in your exploration of Venus. In the activity book, you will find suggestions of activities that you can carry out with the model. All of them follow the same structure, starting with the goal of the activity, age of the participants, approximate duration of the activity, a list of the materials you need, a description of the activity with a procedure and some suggestions for analysis and some further information that can be given to the participants. The first activity is just about becoming familiar with the model and learning how to use it by demonstrating the positions of the poles and the meridian and how to measure with the measuring glaze. For example, the equator of the planet is located at about two knots away from the poles. The poles are four knots away from each other. It also establishes some conventions. For example, moving east is moving towards the right of the meridian with the north pole on top. Activity 2 explores the retrograde rotation of Venus, which is unique among the planets of our solar system. Activity 3 is designed to learn about global warming that was first detected on Venus, prompting scientists to look for it on Earth. For this, you will need a cloth to cover the planet and simulate its thick atmosphere. Activity 4 is about the face of Venus, which are simulated on the globe by using a black cloth. Activity 5 highlights the importance of volcanic activity in Venus. Here, the measuring lace can help us to locate interesting features like mountain ranges or particular volcanoes. For example, Maxwell Montes is next to the North Polar Cap and it's crossed by the meridian. Or the volcanoes known as Riamons and Teyamons, which is the largest on Venus, go one knot down along the meridian and then one knot and one-third towards the left of the meridian. There you will find two bumps, which are Riamons, the one above, and Teyamons, the one below. For this activity, you can also use the annotated map with snapshots of the model where the locations of important features have been marked. Activity 6 is useful to demonstrate the types of volcanoes in Venus. It also demonstrates how to build your own shield volcano, the most characteristic on the planet, by using plasticine or any other kind of modeling material. Again, the document with snapshots of the model can help to locate some of these volcanoes.
Activity 7 shows the plains and highlands of the planet, which are two of its main geographical characteristics. For this activity, you need the measuring glaze and optionally the annotated map. So for example, to locate Aphrodite Terra, measure first two knots along the meridian from the North Pole. There, we arrive at the equator of the planet. Then move east or right in perpendicular to the meridian, another two knots. This elevated terrain is Aphrodite Terra. Another example, Ishtar Terra, is the region crossed by the meridian next to the North Pole. It hosts the Maxwell Montes, which are very easy to find because they are crossed by the meridian in the model. Activity 8 is about craters and coronae or crowns, which are formations particular to Venus. There are several of them in Aphrodite Terra. With activity 9, we wanted to highlight some of the female characters that have given their names to the various kinds of geological formations in Venus. The activity shows how to find some of these features and in the introductory ideas section, a brief description of some of these women is given. For example, Atalanta, a Greek mythological heroine, gives name to a planitia or flat region located to the opposite side of the North Polar Cap using the meridian as reference. The Joliot-Curie crater, named after the French physicist Irene Joliot-Curie, is two knots away along the meridian and then one and one third of note to the right of it. So we encourage you to try these activities and to share with us your feedback and suggestions for improvement. You can contact us through the contact form that you will find in the Attach of the Universe website.